So now that I've washed the clay mask off of my skin, I then proceed to go in with a sheet mask. And today I'll be using Garnier's Vitamin C sheet mask. It looks like this. I think it's actually a new product because I only recently saw it and I decided to buy loads of them, which came through the post yesterday. I really love Garnier's sheet mask because it's really, really moisturizing. And the fact that they've created a vitamin C one, if you know me well, you know I'm completely obsessed with vitamin C skincare products because they help your skin glow. They get rid of dark spots as well. And it's just very, very moisturizing, I find. Like, I don't know if you can see, but look at how like the sheet is super duper moist. It is really, really moist. And with this sheet mask, once I finish struggling <laughs> to put it on, um, you leave it on for 15 minutes sometimes depending on my schedule for the day I may be cheeky and leave it on for a little bit longer but generally speaking I do tend to leave it on for the 15 minutes got to say this is my first time using it and it smells absolutely gorgeous it smells sensational Obviously, I've got a piercing, so like I always kind of like need to fiddle about with the nose area. And as my mask is still on my face, I generally use the 15 minutes to, you know, scroll through social media, keep up to date with the news and what's going on, and also to post content. So this is how my face looks now that the face mask has been removed. I am extra. I do like to squeeze like the serum onto my face. I and mean, I just like to rub it in. Now, because I don't plan on going out today, I'm going to basically get dressed and wear some comfortable house clothes. Now going to moisturize my hair. This is not something that I do every day, to be honest with you. I mean, I probably spritz my hair every other day, but in terms of like the full spritzing and oil, probably do that about, you know, three times a week. So, firstly, I'm gonna go in with Heritage Store Rose Water, and in this rose water, I've put in a little bit of vitamin E oil, and I just like to give it a little bit of a shake. There's just a tiny bit left, to be honest with you. I don't know if you can see. There literally is just a tiny bit left. And I'm gonna spray my hair. Quite a few people have asked me if I've cut my hair. I haven't cut my hair. I've just got my hair in a style. I've done it before on this channel. It's called Lock Knot, so I'll link the video somewhere up here to how you can achieve it if you've got locks and maybe you also want to give it a try. Once I've spritzed my hair, I then like to go in and oil my scalp. So, I'm going to be using Roots Oil. Go all over my scalp with it and my edges, literally. Now that my tea is done, I allow for it to just sit for about two to three minutes. And while it's doing that, lately I've got into the habit of burning candles. So I've got like white ones here, I've got green ones here, I've got pink ones here. I think today I'm feeling for pink ones. Rose Blossom, I got it from Wilco. So I'm going to light up about four candles. Thank you. 
so in regards to the candles it's something that i've recently been doing i think over the last month one because i love scented candles and two because i think scented candles as well as incense from a spiritual point of view is very very effective and it just adds a lot of peace to your room or your house or whatever it may be also in regards to this tea it is hella bitter but i've been drinking this over the years so i've become really accustomed to it and there's a lot of health benefits look into it for example if you want to reduce your cholesterol your sugar levels and all of that this tea really really helps also in terms of breakfast i'm having my tea with some um, Easy peelers, aka satsumas, they're really juicy, they're really sweet. I've got mine from MS and I like to have about two with my tea. In general, when it comes to tea, I don't really have like massive breakfast. Sometimes I'll have something like wheat abix, and even then I only have like two wheat abixes with some milk, and then I'll have it with some water or some tea. I'm a bit of a light eater in the mornings, I can't lie. But yeah, that's basically it. After I've had my breakfast, I then proceed to get cracking on with my day. And today I'm going to be like responding to YouTube and Instagram comments. I'm going to be posting content as well on my socials, job hunting, starting some online courses that I recently downloaded on Read. I believe I recently purchased a course in regards to understanding the basics of the stock market and investing and things like that which is something that i'm really keen about learning to be honest with you if you've made it this far please do let me know in the comment section below what do you do differently for your morning routine or maybe you may do something similar to me but at a different time for example i tend to brush my teeth before i've had breakfast i know a lot of people eat first and then brush their teeth i'll be really keen to know let me know but yeah thank you so much for watching this video and until my next one take care be good